we're hiking into Pebble Beach. Kozar's leading the way. And the first thing that we should come to is Broken Arrow when we get up to the wall. So that's what we'll be looking for. All right, I am on top of Broken Arrow right now. Um, it's kind of scary getting up on top of the gear but it looks awesome. <laughs> Got done with Arrowhead, and as we were wrapping up, um, a party came over and they kind of racked up to do it and were asking about any other sport routes in the area. So um, it turns out they were gonna hop on it. It's got one bolt um, and it's like the first thing right off the ground and then there's like 50 feet of uh, place and gear. So we set an anchor for them, had Sarah pull up, uh, the rope set an anchor so they're on that right now and we made our way to Razorback so we got like a little five six cool flaky looking crack so we're gonna give this one a go done uh, putting up Razorback and it's a flake that goes just for like 40 50 feet it takes awesome gear uh, kind of thin but really good uh, you can place uh, like a two and a three at the beginning and then it's thin from there um, but like the hands are awesome. There's great feet the whole way and you can like lay back There's like in cuts on the flake so you can like big palm if you want or you can like walk it up It's sick. This is an awesome route for like a two-star five six. So great work Red River. All right, you good Sarah? I hope so. How's this route look? Um, a little terrifying But what am I doing? You have me distracted. Um, <laughs> it's a little terrifying, but I'm on top rope, so I guess it'll be all right. Sports. It's beautiful rock. All right, so we're doing some um, anchor building practice. I got up to like maybe like 25 feet up on on this dihedral and uh, wasn't feeling it. So um, kind of aided my way down, um, at least weighted the gear. No fall, but um, it's comforting knowing it. They, uh, they stick pretty well, so getting closer, Joe, getting closer. All right, Sarah, what are you uh, getting into? We're gonna have some lunch. Yeah. We packed oh, a nice sick. little cooler of stuff. What do you got in there? All kinds of goodies. Yeah? Yeah. Christopher packed it so well too. We've got bread and cheese and crackers and turkey mm. and an onion because oh, Christopher and beer. Oh yeah. Sports. Just enjoying a little bit of lunch. Cheers. Some ale eight for Bello, you know? Mm. So good. And Forest Road 9B is blocked off for cars so we can walk past it and get up here. Um, but we can't drive and it's three miles there and back. We've got Kozar and we're gonna do dinner and all that jazz. So we're taking a walk to Pistol Ridge. All right, so we just did Danger Mouse and please don't feed the Triceratops, um, the latter um, of which Sarah is cleaning right now after she let it. So we'll have to get her comments here uh, when she gets down. It was good, it was a pretty easy route. Um, I'm glad I was talking and deleting it. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, I just needed some confidence, I guess. Yeah. Pistol Ridge. The plan was to do a six um, trad route. It was like this right angling flake that looked pretty cool. And then a five seven, um, kind of thin uh, looking crack that looked like it took some good gear, but um, there are no anchors. So we did a couple sport routes instead. <laughs> And now we're heading to, uh, I think, Miguel's then Rock House. Deuces. All right, yeah, so we're at least out of the Nada Tunnel now. Uh, again, yeah, some dude said he didn't have reverse, came into the tunnel when we had a big line of cars going. And now yeah, we're out now, so it's sports. It took like five minutes, but it felt like, you know, like seven. We're walking up to uh, Fortress Wall, hoping to get back maybe at least a little bit of confidence after yesterday's failed attempt on environmental impact so we'll see how the uh, gear plug-in goes this morning i think we found um, american crack and american wall so we're gonna um, get back on the trad horse sarah fell down this morning walking in but i think she's okay she just smiled so we should be good so i uh, just finished up calypso 2 it's a three star five six and there's a good bit of crack climbing so that kicked my ass a little bit holy shit green cam you got me through that thank you baby but um 
Uh, I made it. <laughs> so, a uh, really cool route. So, I'm gonna get lowered down here and Sarah's gonna do it. Deuces. Sarah got to um, practice building her anchors for, put that into practice from yesterday. Um, we have a nice little anchor set up for Kozar now, so he's hopefully gonna be less intrusive to everybody else. So we just did American Crack and Calypso 2, and we're walking around to the other end of the fortress wall and uh, seeing what we can scope out. All right, so we just got done doing a bedtime for Bonzo, just the first pitch, nothing uh, multi. We got Kozar still hanging out, so we uh, don't want to leave him for that long. But yeah, that route was cool. Um, took good gear, nice flake the whole way. The start's a little rough, but um, after that, like, it's gorgeous. Um, Looking out over here is cool too. All right, Sarah, how was that route? That route was fun. Um, very small feet. My feet slipped a couple times. I kind of ran into a tree because my back yeah. it hurt. But other than that, that route was a lot of fun. These standing belay or standing cleans are pretty awesome. Nice. Enjoying those. Very cool. There are a lot of bees up there though. Yeah, I know they were everywhere. Yeah, I think this area in general has a lot of bees. I'm a potato. You are a potato. Just a little potato. What? I hear bees. Bees? Bees? 